Hey guys, welcome to the next chapter vlog. And in my kitchen, we are going to now make a keto bacon cheeseburger casserole. Come join us. All right, everybody, let's get this keto cheeseburger bacon casserole put together. In my pan here, I have one pound of 90% lean ground beef, all nice and browned up. To it, I'm going to add a mixture of half of a yellow onion, half of a green pepper, and a bunch of dill pickles. These are refrigerator-style dill pickles. I prefer that. It gives me the crunch I need. That'll go in here, and we'll let that cook up a little bit. Just enough to get the onion doing its thing and softening up. All right, we're back. We've got that first round cooking up. I'm going to add four slices of cooked bacon chopped up and work that into my mixture. Bring that up real nice. I'm going to chop up some of these pieces of hamburger a little more. Now to this we're going to add the fun stuff. About two tablespoons of Worcestershire Shire sauce. And I'm going to eyeball it a little bit. There we go. That works. Quarter cup of sugar-free ketchup. And we'll eyeball it. I've got this upside down so I get the mustard to come out, but quarter cup of mustard, your choice of style. I like spicy brown. Now, and finally, a quarter cup of mayonnaise. I like Duke's. We're going to stir this up. Going to get this fairly well blended. And also, too, I'm preheating my oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've got my two assistants nosing around here looking for something. But they don't realize they've had dinner already. Wesley, Max, you need to go disappear somewhere. Stir that up a little more. Again there. Uh, that's pretty well mixed. Then we're going to add a half a cup of shredded cheese, your choice. I like this Mexican style blend from Costco. And about a half a cup. That seems like a half a cup. Like I said, I like the eyeball measurements, and there's nothing wrong with more cheese. So we're going to mix this in. Do that real quick. Turn the heat off because this part we're done with for cooking. My oven's almost up to temp. 
And there we go. So now I've got a greased 8 by 8 pan here. And I'm going to put my mixture in it. Yeah. Trying not to lose a lot of it. Spread that around on the bottom. Since I'm the one that's eating this, I can be messy. Some of my pepper and onion that fell out here. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to move this pan over to the sink. Cool down. And next will be the egg mixture. So I have three large eggs and a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream that I'm going to mix up. And this is just to bind it together, that we're not making a, an egg bake or a egg casserole or a breakfast casserole. We're just using this to bind this, everything together. And we're going to let that rise there. Give it a moment to soak in. Okay, one more egg here. Then, last but not least, I'm gonna put some more cheese on top. Another half a cup or so. It's probably more like a cup, but that's okay. All right. This will now go into my 375 degree oven for half an hour, 30 minutes. Oops. Okay, we'll come back in a half an hour and see what it looks like. And there it is, guys. It's beautiful. It's come out of the oven. It's sat for a few minutes. Let's cut ourselves a piece. I can smell the ketchup, the mustard, the mayonnaise, the pickles, the beef, the cheese. This is going to be so good. Ooh, that looks good. There we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, that sounds good. We're going to get a piece with some bacon and some beef. Oh, wow. It is so good. I'm going to enjoy this, unless my dogs get into it first. But this is so good. And thank you for joining me in the kitchen. Hope your success is as good as mine. And thank you. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to this video for more fun stuff on the next chapter vlog. Bye.